The cost of obtaining a law degree today is far out of proportion to the economic return on the degree for uh, the majority of students. So let me give, a, give you a few statistics that demonstrate that. The ABA recently released statistics on the class of 2011. Uh, nine months after graduation, only 55% of graduates of law schools nationwide, 55%, had obtained permanent full-time jobs as lawyers. Meanwhile, the uh, average debt upon, of law graduates upon graduation was over $100,000. Now, the problem is not just that there are significant numbers of unemployed graduates. It's also that many of the graduates who do obtain legal jobs don't earn enough uh, to make the monthly payments on the average debt. In your book, uh, you uh, present in detail quite a few reasons why this unhappy situation uh, has arisen. And while I presume that uh, people are not arguing with the statistics that you just presented, what has been the response so far at least uh, to your views uh, of the reasons why this situation has come to pass? Uh, well, first, uh, let me say some people are denying the argument I'm making that a law degree is a highly risky investment. Uh, in a recent article in the National Law Journal, for example, the current chair of the ABA section on legal education suggested that, my, uh, that I was exaggerating the situation. Uh, so there are defenders of the current uh, status quo in legal education. They also suggest that I failed to take into consideration all of the non-financial benefits of having a law degree. Uh, and one of the points I try to make in the book is that uh, you can acknowledge that there are many benefits to having a law degree, but if you can't make the monthly payments on your debt, then you're in financial trouble, and I try to focus in the book on that. Uh, I should say I haven't heard many responses in detail to the book yet, uh, but in terms of the causal arguments, I, I haven't had many responses so far. The basic argument I make is that the uh, economics of, of legal education have gotten out of whack essentially because tuition has gone up every year for over three decades, and I mean every year. And meanwhile, pay at the, for the bulk of lawyers has stagnated. The, the corporate law legal market, pay has gone up quite uh, nicely in that respect, and, and people who obtain those jobs are doing fine. Uh, but the pay for the bulk of lawyers has not gone up, and as a result, we, they, they now pay much more, and yet the economic return they've been getting has not gone up, uh, up to keep pace with the rise in tuition. That's the basic problem. Uh, as I said, I, I haven't heard too many responses. I expect there will be critical reactions to the arguments I've made, but thus far I haven't heard any. This excerpt is brought to you by the Massachusetts School of Law, the leader of reform in legal education and a leader in multimedia education for the public. To view the full interview and for a full listing of MSL's programs, log on to mslaw.edu.